Development uh, 2023 Award Ceremony as we will uh, give those folks from calendar year 2023 the recognition they deserve. On behalf of Chief Camp and Hardyville Fire Department, we thank you all as the families here to come out and support us tonight. Um, I would like to recognize some of our uh, department heads and city manager in the back. City Manager Mike Zimbor, Deputy City Manager Matt Davis, Finance Director John Boyle, Police Chief Sam Woodward. I don't know exactly how to pronounce y'all's things, but James Kimbrell, IT Specialist. <laughs> and did I miss any other directors in here? All right, thank you. So at this time, we will do our Pledge of Allegiance, and then we'll do our, uh, we'll remain standing for our invocation. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice. Let us pray. Father, thank you for this day and thank you for us this time that we can come together as family and recognize and cherish everyone that come here tonight. Father, we thank you for the countless blessings that you have provided us over this past week with our safety and the safety of our personnel. And Father, we pray for continued success and blessings of our fire department and our families that are here to support us. We ask of all these things in your name. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Calendar year 2023 um, was a very uh, busy year for us at Hardyville Fire Department. We accomplished a lot of things, and we are here today to show these accomplishments that we have uh, done. To name a few of those accomplishments, we launched our ALS program to include getting our medic units and also begin uh, for billing for our uh, EMS program. We started with our part-time paramedic program to bring in folks from other agencies to help supplement uh, the ranks of, uh, of our paramedics on the ambulances. Uh, we uh, restructured the fire department with, we have our deputy chief of operations and administration, that is me, and also brought Chief Childs back uh, from Bluffton. We started with our fleet replacement um, and we took delivery of that fleet replacement uh, this calendar year. Uh, we added our communications tower uh, we're also one of the first fire departments uh, in the area that uh, have body cameras to help us with um, things in the field. Uh, we relaunched our SWAT medics and our SRT team uh, to better serve our police department. Um, we also got our Fire Safe SC designation for the fifth uh, current or concurrent year for the South Carolina Fire Marshal's Office. We also purchased some electrical uh, vehicle safety items to better help us uh, with electrical vehicles um, as they're coming more uh, prominent in the city. Um, we've experienced continued growth here, um, lots and lots of growth throughout our whole corridor, both uh, residential and commercial and uh, industrial. And I see that we will continue to do this in many years to come. Um, at, at this point of Hardyville Fire Department with us being uh, a fairly young fire department in the next couple of our uh, awards and pennant ceremonies in the future, we will actually have folks that will be eligible to retire from the city of Hardyville, which is a, a very cool thing for us to have here. But one of the most awesome things that we did have in, in calendar year 2023 is Master Firefighter Paramedic Aiden Perez beat cancer. So let's give him a round of applause. <laughs> All right, so now we will continue uh, with our program and we will begin with our pinning ceremony and swearing in. So Assistant Chief Childs, please come up. Who's going to pin you? All right, come on up. <laughs> Yes, sir. Uh, state your name. 
Aye. Leonard Childs. Do you hereby swear or affirm? Do you hereby swear or affirm? That as the Assistant Chief of the Hardyville Fire Department. That as the Assistant Chief of the Hardyville Fire Department. I will support the Constitution of the United States. I will support the Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the State of South Carolina. The Constitution of the State of South Carolina. And the policies and procedures of the City of Hardyville. And the policies and procedures of the City of Hardyville. And that of the Hardyville Fire Department. And that of the Hardyville Fire Department. That I will bear allegiance to my superiors. That I will bear allegiance to my superiors. With pride, honor, and integrity. With pride, honor, and integrity. That I will, to the best of my ability. That I will, to the best of my ability. Protect the safety and lives. Protect the safety and lives. Of the citizens and firefighters. Of the citizens and firefighters. Whose care has been entrusted to me. Whose care has been entrusted to me. So help me God. So help me God. All right, everybody give him a warm welcome. Okay, I'd like to call up Battalion Chief Hardy Yeomans. Lieutenants Hall, McElhaney, Parks, and Seto, please come to the front. All right, and those that are will be pinning those in, please come up. Of the city of Hardyville. And that of the Hardyville Fire Department. 
that I will bear allegiance to my superiors, that I will bear allegiance to my superiors with pride, honor, and integrity. With pride, honor, and integrity. That I will to the best of my ability, that I will to the best of my ability, protect the safety and lives, protect the safety and lives of the citizens and firefighters, the citizens and firefighters whose care has been entrusted to me, whose care has been entrusted to me. So help me God. So help me God. Everyone, let's give our lieutenants a warm welcome. I may, be, I may be seated. I'd like to now call up master firefighters Dylan Barnes, Lada, Negron, Perez, Perry, and York. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Everybody? Everyone, this is your Master Firefighters. With Senior Firefighters Hawker, Jonathan Woulette, Sosa, and Yarborough, come up please. All right, everybody, uh, give a warm round of applause for our senior class. <laughs> well, firefighters Cotton, Stopinol, Workama, Martin, please come up. And those that are will be pinning them, please come up as well. <laughs> Safety and lives. Protect, protect the safety, safety and lives. lives. 
of the citizens and firefighters and the citizens, citizens and firefighters, firefighters whose care has been entrusted to me. Whose care, care has been entrusted, entrusted to me. me. So help me God. So, so help me God. God. Give a warm welcome to our firefighters. Now we would like to do our Distinguished Service Award. Our Distinguished Service is given for every four years of Distinguished Service inside the fire department here. Uh, that correlates with the Maltese crosses that you see on our Class A uniforms. And for our eight-year Distinguished Service Award, I would like to call up Lieutenant Parker, Lieutenant Santana, Lieutenant Larson, and Battalion Chief Yeomans. now our four years of distinguished service that will be deputy chief beckmeyer senior firefighter johnson and senior firefighter jonathan Woulet.
Next, we will be doing our citations. This will be an individual citation. Um, if Master Firefighter, now Lieutenant Firefighter, or Lieutenant uh, McElhaney, please come up. And this was written whenever he, before he promoted, but Master Firefighter Grady, Grady McElhaney exemplifies the epitome of dedication, selflessness, and leadership within the Hardyville Fire Department. His unwavering commitment to excellence is evident through his relentless pursuit of training, where he consistently goes above and beyond to enhance his skills and knowledge. Uh, Master Firefighter McElhaney's willingness to lend a helping hand on extra product, uh, projects underscores his passion for the department's success and the well-being of his colleagues. At the time of not holding officer rank, his action speaks volumes and he embodies the qualities of a true leader, putting, his need, putting the needs of the fire department and his team above his own. Master Firefighter Michael Haney's steadfast dedication serves as an inspiration to us all. Now he is promoted to Lieutenant. Let's give him a round of applause. So thank you so much for everything, and I just want to continue to push forward and help make everyone better, including myself. Thank you. Now I'd like to bring up for a unit citation, Battalion Chief Birchall, Senior Firefighter Schaefer, Johnson, Lieutenant Parker, Senior Firefighter Robertson and Firefighter Calvo. gentlemen right here in January of 2023 responded to an ATV accident on um, Speedway Boulevard Highway 17 in Hardyville and because of their efforts there on that call working flawlessly <coughs> with the MS crews doing uh, interventions there uh, the young gentleman a 15 year old uh, he is now uh, survived in Hardyville and they were nominated for a uh, unit citation and because of them working cohesively as these units together we do have uh, uh, someone here that or we have a citizen that definitely is walking and talking in Hardyville so let's give these guys a round of applause <laughs> we will be given uh, one of our life-saving awards. If Senior Firefighter Hawker and Master Firefighter Paramedic Perez please come up. All right, so 
in December of 2023, uh, these gentlemen responded to the Tide Watch facility. And those of you that don't know what Tide Watch is, it's a standalone ER on the other end of the city for an active cardiac arrest. Uh, these gentlemen, um, along with um, Jonathan Church, is not with us tonight. He, they went in and helped the staff. They start initiated CPR and en route to another facility because it is a standalone ER, they actually got um, a pulse back and a thriving taxpaying citizen uh, is now walking the streets here in the county. So if we would give these uh, gentlemen a round of applause for saving so much time. We would like to give out our second life saving award. And if Battalion Chief Yeomans, Firefighter Callow, Lieutenant Woulet, is he here? Our Master Firefighter Barnes, Firefighter Cotton, and also would Taylor Horton please come up here? So on November 25th of 2023, uh, Hardville Fire Department received a call that there was a cardiac arrest on Lakeside Boulevard. Um, the call come in that CPR was initiated by an off-duty firefighter, which is here with us tonight. Um, they did CPR. They worked this patient. Um, the crews arrived on, everybody given helping hands. Engine 82 arrived um, with the county medic unit. Um, they were able to deliver shots, uh, begin CPR, uh, and get the person into the ambulance, which was transported to Coastal Carolina, where this person is now a thriving, uh, walking, talking person that is alive today because of their efforts. But what we would like to do tonight, we would like to recognize Taylor Horton, which was an off-duty Bluffton firefighter. Um, if Taylor, would you come up? Because of his efforts initiating CPR, the outcome drastically changed and it was improved for this individual. But also, uh, we would like to recognize Battalion Chief Yeomans, Callow, Barnes and Cotton tonight for their enduring efforts in this tireless campaign to make sure that they uh, did everything that they could um, in the field to ensure that a life was saved. So let's give these gentlemen a round of applause. we will get on to our awards we will be presenting firefighter of the year uh, this firefighter this young man come to us he is very passionate about the job of being a firefighter sometimes comes off a little cocky sometimes uh, rubs people the wrong way but his heart is in it and he is a true definition of a fireman 
fireman. True definition of a fireman. This this young man strives in um, everything that he can to ensure that physical fitness. He's doing the right things, and I've known him pretty much his whole life. And he was nominated by his peers. So, senior firefighter Sonny Hawker, please come up. I don't even know how to act. Um, I don't. I don't feel like I did anything special. I feel like I just kind of showed to work and did everything else everybody else is doing. Um, but hell, I appreciate it. present our medic or EMT of the year. Uh, this individual is very, very passionate about medicine and helping people. Um, this individual uh, in calendar year 2023, above and beyond uh, with many things, helping us uh, help get us in that ALS um, mode, help get the ambulances up, helping with other ancillary duties with uh, as it pertains to EMS. Um, this individual is definitely a great asset to our fire department here and sometimes is a little prone to injury. So tonight we would like to present Master Firefighter Paramedic Aiden Perez as Medic of the Year. We would also like to give him, uh, he was recognized by the Jasper County Chamber of Commerce this year, and because he had hurt himself, he was not able to uh, attend. So uh, we would also like to present him with that award tonight as well for Medic of the Year in Jasper County. you guys may know uh, I did have uh, cancer last year so I was out for that and then now I'm out again for a patellar tendon tear so I really can't stay off light duty I just love it that much <laughs> but uh, honestly I'm honored to be here you guys are a great family fantastic I love this department and I'm excited for what the future holds Thank you. All right, so now we will be presenting Officer of the Year. Uh, this, 
This particular person is very, very humble, is very uh, knowledgeable, and is very, very good at his craft. Uh, he is willing to go above and beyond. He has helped with a lot of things with requisition of uh, medical equipment and other things for the fire department. And he's also a stellar softball player. And we would like to, <laughs> we would like to bring up Lieutenant Jamie Savannah. Thank you very much. Uh, I was really looking forward to a softball award MVP. Uh, <laughs> that didn't happen. Uh, but I just want to say thank you. Thank you to my guys, Humbert, uh, Hawker, Lieutenant Seto. Those guys helped me out a lot. Chief Fairchild gave me the opportunity to do the things we want to do. So thank you. Looking forward to it. I really appreciate it. Our next award will be the Andy Orphanodicus Award. For those of you that had the opportunity, is where is Tracy at? Tracy. All right, come on up. <laughs> I was looking for you. For those of you, this is uh, Tracy Orphanodicus. She is the wife of Lieutenant Andy, Captain Andy Orphanodicus. Uh, Andy passed away in the line of duty, but Andy was an amazing, amazing guy to this fire department. He was one of our senior guys in age. Uh, he was definitely what you would remember as the brotherhood of the fire service. He was there, he would tell stories, he would tell you how to get better, he would tell you what not to do. He was a father figure to some of the guys here. Um, and definitely, he was a, a great person to be around. Whenever he would come to me and say, hey, Chief, I got something real quick, an hour, hour and a half later, uh, we would definitely would uh, get done talking. But he definitely set the precedence for uh, brotherhood and what brotherhood is in the fire department. And tonight, uh, we have someone that has some of those same attributes, and we would like to bring up at the time when it was nominated, uh, senior firefighter, but now lieutenant, Grady McElhaney. To be able to receive this is, I, I've got lots of awards throughout my career. This is the best one I've ever received. So thank you so much. I greatly appreciate it. All right. Next is the Chief's Award, and I will let Chief Camp take it away. This is, uh, this is one that's, uh, is a little different for me this year. Um, this person has done more for me personally and for each one of you out there more than you know. We went from three stations, we've replaced two stations, we're fixing to build our, but well, we built the fourth station and we're looking at the fifth and sixth now. Only one man has done that for us. Mr. C, would you come up here please, sir? Couldn't be anybody better to give it to this year. Um, you're leaving 
uh, for your nine years of service to the city and to the fire department. On behalf of all these men and women out here, I appreciate everything you've done for us, and thank you for everything. prepared to say anything but you know people know me said so I'm not a man of few words but uh, just quickly I uh, boy, I'll probably start crying now you know when I came to the city in 2015 quite a bit different place I think I think everybody knows if you, if you were here at that time the city facilities weren't inadequate city vehicles weren't adequate we had a lot of issues to deal with and the fire department's no different so I think as the chief said, just from my recollection, just off the top of my head, new fire station 81, new fire um, headquarters, communications tower, fire station 84, new, new trucks, um, new ladder truck, BLS, ALS, uh, para uh, paramedics, ambulances. And I think five years ago or something, at one of your Christmas parties, we talked about, got up and said, guys, Guys and gals, well, no, we have gals, but guys, stay with us. We're an up-and-coming department. I know public service, firemen, is, being, is, is extremely difficult, and you're always being recruited by other communities because we're a growing community. I said, stay with us. So what have we done? Increased our classification compensation plan, and by the, just the ceremony, the ranks. We've increased the ranks and the opportunity for growth and development. So I know you guys, um, as Chief said, New Fire Station 82, the people work out at 82, New Fire Station 82, you're going to have a joint training facility with, the, with the, your brethren at the police department. Right, Sam? Yes, sir. 85, 86, there's a lot of numbers for fire stations, so the sky's the limit. You guys are the best trained, best equipped fire department in the low country <clears throat> in the state of South Carolina. Thank you. So that concludes our awards ceremony tonight. We would like to thank you, your, all the families, the firefighters, everyone for showing up, supporting each other, and we look forward to our continued support as we create and uh, make Hardyville Fire a better place. So at this time, I would like to call Assistant Chief Childs up. He was going to bless our food. We got some other stuff we're gonna bring out and we have a time and opportunity that we can fellowship together uh, for the remainder of the night and then go on and do fun things. So Chief Childs, take it away. Join me in prayer. Father God, thank you for this day. Thank you for this, um, these beautiful people and our wonderful family, Lord. Uh, the men and women of this organization, uh, I just ask that you put your hand of protection over them, watch over their families, watch over them, keep them safe, keep them competent, and keep them hungry. Um, Lord, we're just so grateful that you've blessed this city and blessed this department, and we ask that you would um, continue to bless us. We ask now that you would bless the food uh, to the nourishment of our bodies, our bodies, your service, watch over us, protect us, and keep us safe. We love you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Amen.